Taylor Swift has introduced us to the idea of the tortured poet. In part one, we touched upon Wordsworth's belief that poets possess unique, heightened sensitivities that lead them to experience intense thoughts and emotions, which they try, and sometimes struggle, to capture in their poetry. Wordsworth describes an instance of this emotional volatility in his poem Resolution and Independence. On a beautiful morning, his joyous, carefree delight suddenly spirals into dejection of equal intensity. Such powerful feelings often compelled poets to write poetry as a way of processing these profound experiences. Doing so, however, could be a laborious, bewildering and painful task. Wordsworth at times found himself haunted and made very ill by composition, as the journals of his sister, Dorothy, show. Here Dorothy writes that Wordsworth wearied himself to death in the writing of Resolution and Independence. Such an intense experience of feeling, thinking and writing suggests that poets can be tortured because of who they fundamentally are, deeply sensitive souls that feel and are compelled to capture the depth and complexity of human emotion and existence.